12 tournaments, man. When all hell breaks loose out here, you're gonna have troops run through your house with machine guns, man. Okay, might go to your ch child's room, you got children in there. Might throw a grenade in your fucking child's room and close the door while they drag your ass out, man. What do you think gonna happen to those children, man? They will get blown to pieces, man. Okay, you're gonna be getting tortured in these FEMA camps. Hey, they just passed bills to where now a lot of these, uh, these, uh, uh, what do you call it, tent cities, these homeless people tents, okay, now they're putting them in, 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 uh, in military bases, man. Say the majority of them are women and children. What do you think they're doing with them women and children? The same thing these troops do when they go to these foreign countries, man. When they send these troops to these other countries, they rape the women out there, man. Okay, that's just what happens in times of war. Women get raped, okay? Women get killed, children get killed. Children get raped. Men get killed, men get raped. These things happen in times of war. And that's what's coming to America, martial law. Which martial means war, or warlike, okay? That's what's coming. And all you people that you disagree with the truth, okay? You have your own ideas. You have your own thoughts. I'm going to be out of torment. Yeah, it's a tormentful thing to see your woman get raped in front of you, okay? See your mom get rifle whipped or get cut open with a little fucking knife. All right, getting her head cut off with a little knife. Me and the brother have seen things like that on Nothing Talks, man. Okay, they'll be cutting off people's heads with little knives, man. Little pocket knives. That's what's coming, man. For you people that don't take this seriously. Go ahead. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah, and you people receive a whole bunch of benefits. From Yahweh Bosh Jimmy Al Shai. Okay, because Yahweh Bosh Jimmy Al Shai. Even putting on the spirit of this devil to create welfare, to create EBT, food stamps, Section 8. The Lord put in his spirit to do that. This devil didn't know why he was giving you niggas free food, free places to live. He hates you people, man. He hates our people. He wants to exterminate you. But it's all the will of the Lord. Go ahead. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. Yeah, well, the doors of repentance were open unto them. The doors of mercy, repentance are still open. Okay? They're still open. Not everybody has heard this word yet. Okay? How do we know that? Because the end hasn't came yet. Alright? You get that bottle of shot, and then shall you get cut? Because the word hasn't been pushed throughout the four corners of the... It, it has been, but all the elect haven't woken up yet. All right? They haven't hit the highways. They haven't got that measure of understanding in which they need. Okay? Go ahead. The same as know it after death by pain. Yes, yeah, so you're going to be all right. You're going to be able to be in your right mind after death by pain. And all you so-called white people are going into slavery. That's right! So you could fist pound to that. Okay? That's according to the Bible. For all the rape, robbery, and murder you've done to the real Israelites, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right! Okay? You could, you could raise your fist to that. All right? Raise your fist to a shackle and a chain. Hey, because when you eat my babies come out the womb, you're going to come out and we're going to slap chains on you. As soon as you come out, we ain't going to have no names for some of you. We're just going to have uh, Hebrew symbols for you. Okay, uh, uh, numbers for you. You know, there's going to be so many of you that we don't give a damn about. We don't, we're not going to care about none of you, Edomite. Even our, even our concubines. We're going to have them in dungeons. Okay? Go ahead, Uncle. 
Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Talking about north, east, south, and, south, and west. The whole circumference of the planet. But holding the four winds of the earth. Holding the destruction back, man. The four winds. All right? What? That the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Yeah, so the Lord seals the elect, the servants, okay, in their forehead, in their mind with this truth. That, des that destroying wind, those winds ain't coming until the, the, the last member of the elect is sealed. Okay, when you see troops all on these streets, all right, martial law troops all on these streets, you know that the, the last member of the elect is sealed, man. Okay, when, you, when, we, when we all see the nukes coming, that's when we know that it's the end. That's the final, final hour, man of Babylon, which is America, okay? So he, so he seals the servants of the power in the forehead, man. Go ahead. Yeah. This is uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for the, all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's what we do. That's what like-minded brothers do. Okay. We sigh and we cry to the Heavenly Father for all these abominations out here, man. People are walking, talking abominations, man. You Edomites ruling over us, that's an abomination, man. Okay? Then you then you gotta turn every corner. And, and you gotta blink sometimes, man. Because you'll see a homo. You'll see a tranny. Okay? You'll see somebody strung out on drugs, shooting up dope. Those are all abominations, man. Witches and warlocks out here. Okay, you got you got fortune tellers damn near on every corner, man. That's a witch. That's a warlock. That's an abomination, man. You get it. All right. Wait a second. Or just continue. Verse five. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, Go ye after them through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity. Yeah. So all you that ain't sighing, crying. For all the abominations out here, you're gonna you're gonna be killed, man. Okay, the angels of the Lord are gonna come down and start killing you people, man. That's right. They're gonna put spirits on these Edomites and other people to start killing you, man. Okay, like I was watching a brother's video, he was going into uh, how this pastor was going into how you're gonna buy guns. If you're not fake, you don't need a gun. Now you're not wicked. For you. So he was telling his congregation that you gotta buy a sword. That Yahweh Shai, or so called Jesus Christ, said that you, you gotta be out here with a sword. Now, the times they were living in and the times we're living in now is different, man. Okay, there is gonna come a time where we're gonna need a weapon. Okay, which the weapon we have now is the word. And, and spiritually, we're gonna have spiritual power, man. But we're not in that time yet where we need that, man. There is going to be a time where there's going to be troops out here with machine guns, all types of artillery. And we're going to need the spiritual power. We're going to need a sword. But right now, the sword that we have, that we swing, is the word. Okay, but he was telling his congregation, you got to buy guns. That's a lack of faith, man. Okay? That's a lack of faith. All right? And if you're not sealed with the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in your forehead, you're going to be out here and get slaughtered, man. Okay, the angels are going to come down and kill you people, like I, like I said, like the scripture said. Okay, and when you read about the mark right here in Ezekiel 9, that's the mark of exemption, man. Meaning you're exempt of the judgment of the Lord. Why? Because you, you, you read it your mind and took heed to the word. Okay. You're, you're, you're engulfed in the spirit. 
Because if you're engulfed in the spirit of the Lord, all right, you're going you're going you're going you're going to be vexed with all this filthy shit that goes on out here, man. Just like righteous Lot, he was he was vexed at just the communications of you damn sodomites, man. Okay, just we just seen a sodomite walking down the damn street, man. Wearing a fucking boot top, man. This is uh Second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men. Yeah, there's gonna be uprisings out here, man. Good. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings, nor their princes, princesses, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, so they're not gonna care about the cops when martial law breaks too. When martial law breaks loose. Okay, people ain't gonna care about the cops. Alright, you tell them oh, I'm gonna call the cops. They're gonna be out here gunning you people down, man. Okay, and death to Palestine. That's right! Alright, death to you heathen, man. Palestine being bombed. That's right! Okay, where's Allah when you need him? Because Allah don't exist. That's right! Okay, death to Palestine, man. That's right! Death to you heathens, man. That's right! We're the Israelites. Our God exists. Our God is real. Okay? It's gonna come a time when you're gonna be out here talking, talking that mess to the men of the Lord. Okay? There's gonna be a time, and it's coming real soon. What do you think is gonna happen in martial law when, when these people can't call the cops? That means those, those of you people that, that mouth us off, Lord gonna put it in our spirit to put you to death, man. Right! Okay, okay, This is Romans 12 and 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. Yeah, man. So it says avenge not yourself. So you got a pastor telling you to arm yourself, but the Lord says avenge not yourself. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord tells you to wait for him. The Lord tells you to be uh, harmless as a dove, man. Wise as a serpent. Really, what these different pastors are doing are setting you up to be slaughtered. You said you, they're, they're preparing a table for that truth. You're giving them a reason to say, "Look, these are crazy Bible extremists, and now they have guns. Yep, yep. We need to go in there and just kill these assholes." All right, but it tells you that vengeance is the Lord's. He's going to repay. Ezekiel nine, uh, Ezekiel nine and four through what six? Hey, the Lord's going to send these death angels out here to kill all these people. Let me just continue. Ezekiel nine. All right, yeah, this is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse uh, 5. And to the others, he said in mine hearing... Start at the top. Uh, uh, four, all right. Four. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Through the midst of Jerusalem. That's very specific. It didn't say go through the midst of the city. Go through the midst of all nations. It said go through the midst of Jerusalem. All right? That's talking about the Israelites. All right, wherever the Israelites are, man, that's where Jerusalem is. Because what? It tells you that the kingdom is within you, right? So the men, uh, the men of the Lord are the kingdom. All right, the Israelites, those are the chosen people of the Lord, man. All right, what do you think the Lord cares about more, his people or the land? He cares more about the people, man. All right, we are called by his name. Right? Yeah, because there's also a scripture that said, the Lord, the Lord didn't choose the, uh, the people for the land, but the land for the people. Don't be fooling me now, come back. He said he chose the, the, the land for the people, not the people for the land. So what's more important is the people, okay? So this is uh, verse 4. Through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of them. Like the brother was talking about, there's all kinds of abominations. When, he was, when, when the brother said that Lot was vexed with, vexed with, the, with the conversation of the wicked daily, man. Well, just look, you talk to anybody, okay? You could bring out the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scripture at a high level, all right? And be, and be telling people, well, this, you know, somebody might have problems, you automatically know how to fix their problem. You start telling them, you gotta do this, 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 this. 
all right? And they'll fucking, they'll look at you like you're God, man. They'll be like, damn, let's go start a civilization and you can be the leader of it, man, because you just got the way. But if you say that's out of the Bible, immediately you're an idiot. Immediately you don't know what you're talking about, man. Or if you start with the Bible says this, well, they don't want to hear another word that comes out of your mouth. But if you don't mention that any of this is that you're saying is contained in the Bible, they'll listen to you, man. All right? That's because these people, these people's minds are polluted. All right? They're, they're completely perverted out of the way of the Lord, man. These people, they hate the Lord because they don't like wisdom and instruction. See what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that will agree with the Bible as long as you don't tell them that it's from the Bible, man. Yeah, I got the Hebrew word for a uh, mark in Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the word there is the walk. It's Strong's H420. And it's and it's the law, and it means desire, mark, mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. Yeah, and we desire righteousness, and the Lord desires those that dwell in, right, dwell in righteousness, man. So pretty much the Lord's going to set that mark, he's going to set his love upon you, man. All right, he's going he's to tell his angels, he's going to say, he's going to say, look, pass over this man. You know, if somebody tries, somebody tries to hurt you, you're going to have angels protecting you. Unless the Lord is going to, unless the Lord's putting you through a test. Because so there's only two things, man. Okay? You're either you're either being delivered or you're being put through a test. That's it. Yeah, uh, going back to that because it refreshed my memory about how I was going into that pastor. Okay, he was telling his congregation that you got to uh, buy guns. Okay, what are you going to do if he said this to his congregation? Or on the camera, actually, to everybody. He said, what are you going to do? If, if you're, you're out somewhere and three guys, they're going to beat you up and rape your wife. Okay, you need a gun. You need a gun. He said, he said God isn't going to crack the sky. He said, God isn't going to crack the sky and come down and protect you from that. He said, God is, isn't going to come down and, 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 and help you, so you need a gun. Well, really, the brother was like, hey, that's judgment from the Lord. That's judgment for the Lord, okay? Because if you're a woman and if you, you my, get hurt, that's judgment for the Lord. Yeah. The other day. So, you don't need that. You don't need no weapon. And, and and really, even if you did have a weapon, you can't, you can't. Hey, nobody can escape the Lord's hand. Okay? You could have a, a nuclear arsenal, just like these other countries got. That'll stop America from invading them. That'll stop God's plan. Okay, which is Esau to run the world. So if the Lord has it out for you, he's going to get you, man. You can run, but you can't hide. Like it tells you in the book of uh, Amos, you know. But I'm going to continue. It says, and that cry, and that sigh, and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare. Neither have you pity. Yeah, so to the others, talking about everybody that doesn't have a heart, okay, everybody that's not chosen, everybody that's not of the elect, okay, the Lord is saying to go through the midst of the city and, and, and pretty much destroy everybody, man. All right, have no pity, spare none. All right, whether it be babies, whether it be children, whether it be whatever. And and, and it's according, you know, and, and the Lord said that He's coming back to repay everybody according to their works. So, you look at a judgment, you look at judgment, the Lord judges entire nations, man, as a whole. But specifically, but it's, it, it goes down to uh, uh, the smallest grain, man. Because the Lord will have specific judgments just for you. That's why when people come up here and they want to talk, and they want to they run their mouth, sometimes I like to let them run their mouth, man. Because really they're just digging a big ass grave. They're heaping onto themselves destruction. See, the Lord, the Lord is terrible. See, the, 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 the greater the, the crime that you're committing, all right, the more shit that you're talking, the, the more hardcore the blasphemies that are coming out, the more hardcore your judgment's going to be, man. And it doesn't even have, and it doesn't even have to have, just have, I mean, you are the nations, man. You're going you're gonna to get, you're going to get judgments coming to you for a thousand years, man. So you just, you just heaping up onto yourself a, 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 a thousand years of hell, man. If, yeah, if you're not an Israelite, you know. But Jake, you, Jake, Jake's, man. You fucking Jason come up here blaspheming the Lord, doing all types of crazy shit, man. You're gonna get thrown in a concentration camp and get skinned alive, man. That's right! Bro. You're gonna get fucking put in machines just gonna just gonna twist your body parts off, man. 
You're going to get put in a room and they're just going to let German shepherds run in there. And they're going to look at you. They're going to be starved out, man. They're going to look at you like a fucking tasty piece of steak, man. Yeah. But you don't want to get eaten by dogs. And it says the dogs tear. The dogs will rip you to pieces, man. They will bite you and rip your goddamn face off. Yeah, yeah that's why Ezekiel 9 was going into Jake. Okay, it said in the midst of Jerusalem. All right? Now, Jerusalem is a people before a place, so it's really talking about two-thirds of our people, man. You know? You, you, it says right here, verse 6, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary, where they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Yeah, man, so... Hey, the Lord, the Lord, any, the only the ones that can get the mark are Israelites. The only ones that can get that mark. And then it says it's going to start at his sanctuary. He's going to go to the ancient men. He's going to start with the ancient men. So these other camps that first got the truth, man. You know, the, 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 these first these first crop of, uh, of men that were in the spirit, and then they fell away. They started perverting the doctrine. And it just went off and became madmen. The Lord's going to start with them first, and then the, and then they're going to go on to the rest of your congregation, man. Because the thing about it is, is those of you that are in the leadership, you're in the rulership position. Okay, you're, you're the head of a church, you want to be a fucking deacon, you want to call yourself a bishop, and you have a congregation of thousands upon thousands of men, and women, and children, and you're leading them the wrong way. Who's going to get beaten with the most stripes, man? But yeah, your congregation is going to get hell put on them, they're going to be, they're going to be destroyed, they're going to have to get gunned down, slaughtered, put in the FEMA camps, whatever's going to happen to them, but your ass being the leader, the Lord's, the Lord's gonna put fucking pure hell on you, man. The Lord's gonna do the worst shit, do the worst shit to you. Yeah. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 25. Therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and he has stretched forth his hand against them, and has smitten them. All the hills did tremble, and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Yeah, his, his, his anger is not turned away, man. It's just on layaway. The Lord is just waiting for you to, for you to tally up marks, man. It, it's, 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 a, it's the same thing Esau does, man. Okay, Esau will, will snatch you up, he'll put you in the system, and, he, and he'll, he'll, come, he'll, uh, uh, He'll, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, indict you with crimes, okay? And then he'll lock your ass up, send you out. If you get caught again for the same crime, guess what? You have priors. And you might get enhancements. Or they might just let you keep on committing a crime for years and just, and just uh, 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 build a case on you, man. The Lord is building cases, okay? And those, the, and the thing, and what, what the men of the Lord are out here doing is we're out here trying to work off the debt that we've accumulated. It goes into that in the parable. And it tells you that, that uh, uh, I can't remember what parable, where it's at, but it talks about how a man was in, it was in great debt to the Lord, and he was brought before the king, and then he said, Lord, have patience with me, please, and I will repay thee all. And then he went and he found his, one of his servants that owed him money, and he threw his ass in jail. And he told the, and then and then the, the king heard about it and he brought him back and he was like, bitch ass dude. I, I forgave you of all your shit. You couldn't forgive your brother. But that's pretty much what we're out here doing. We're out here working off a of debt, man. That's why that's why we pray to the Lord every day to have mercy on us and forgive us. Alright? Because we're 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 rehearsing the righteous acts. We're in a, we're in the process of coming back to our heritage. Dude. This is Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set in snares. They set a trap. They catch men. God. Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set in snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Yeah, man, they can't wait. Hey, that happens a lot. When you go to the hoods, that happens a lot. Even when, even when it comes to spiritually, when it comes to the truth, what do you think these other camps are doing, man? They're setting snares for these people. They're catching them. They're catching men. They're bringing them into condemnation. 
you have the same thing when you come when you go when you go with Jake into the hood, man. Because they set up they set up the tracks for each other. Right? They set each other up, they they fucking kill each other, they do drug and they do bad deals, called bad deals. Hey Jake is hella wicked, man. Jake is doing all types of wicked things, man. Alright? Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, it says the thing that, that, that uh, has been is that which shall be done. So Jake didn't, Jake didn't really, really uh, uh, change that much over time. Man. It was pretty much the same the same thing throughout the course of history, man. All right, Jake is still in the ghettos. All right, Jake is still getting locked up, getting shot down. They're still committing all types of wickedness, worshiping idols, destroying each other. Man. These damn gangsters is out here, man. Solely killing each other, man. Their, their eye is evil towards their brother, as it talks about in Deuteronomy 28. Is more? Yeah. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxed rich. Oh yeah, man. That's these false. That's these false pastors and shit, man. Their houses are full of deceit, man. All right, you ain't gonna find no deceit here. We ain't waxed rich. You know why? Get uh, get uh, uh get Isaiah 30 and 8. Yeah. Because our people love to hear smooth things, right? These people, they pay you to say nice things to them, all right? That's that's pretty much what these whorehouses are, man. All right? They just came. That's why. That's why we call them whorehouses, all right? Like a like, what does a prostitute do? All right? She gives you pleasure for money. That's pretty much what that's that's, that's what these churches do. They give people pleasure for money, all right? They ask for tithes. They ask for handouts. They ask for money. Okay. And, and, and what they give in return is comforting words, man. But they're lies. They're not the actual comforting words, man. Because a lot of times when you watch their sermons and the things that they preach, they don't really come out of the scriptures too often. Man. They'll quote a scripture here and there, but most of them just, just flapping their lips. Man. Just like a prostitute. Same thing. Because she'll tell you, oh, I love you, Daddy. She'll call you Daddy. Tell you all these pleasurable words, pleasure pleasing words, but it's for the money. She don't really love you. As soon as you're gone, she's going to take a shower and just fuck this thing for a hundred. You know, it's the same thing with these churches. All right, they preach lies to you, 